Do you want answers to all your finance and money related queries? Then subscribe to our YouTube channel now and download the Financial Freedom app from the link given in description box. Hi viewers, Money News is a program that informs you about the latest happenings of the financial world and its impact on our personal life. Come and take a look at today's headlines. How much stake do you think Chinese Central Bank owns in India? Watch more to know. Good news for Franklin's mutual fund investors. Stay tuned for our top story. Are you confused about the financial advisor fee? Here ends your uncertainty. Is cashless cover an empty promise? Another distress during the pandemic. Is the IT sector affected by the pandemic despite all the work from home? Analysis reports out now. Shocking news. Chinese Central Bank buys more stake in Indian companies. According to Stock Exchange Disclosure, the Central Bank of China has gradually increased their stake in the Indian markets in recent times. People's Bank of China holds stock in major sectors of the economy. The holdings of the bank are as follows. 1.01% stake in HDFC Limited, the popular private sector NBFC in India. The current worth of their holding is Rs 3,100 crore. 0.32% stake in Ambuja Cements worth Rs 122 crore. 0.43% in Piramal Enterprise worth Rs 137 crore. In 2018, Chinese Central Bank received RBI's permission to start their FPI investments in India. It is said that Chinese investment in India are controlled directly or indirectly by its government and they aim to own a major stake in the companies that strategically are important to our economy. Besides their earlier mentioned stake, it is believed that Chinese banks also possess stakes in other major companies. However, they are not disclosed since they are less than 1% limit. After the bank's acquisition in HDFC Limited was disclosed on April 12th, the Government of India amended its foreign investment rules via a press note on 17th April. And the addition was that any investment from any entity or a country that shares land border with India will require government approval for the investment. Earlier this rule was applicable on Bangladesh and Pakistan and now China has been added to the list. But as the Indian-Chinese border tensions are increasing, it is important that the policymakers be cautious about such moves and ensure well-built regulatory policies are established. The growth of Chinese investments into India since 2014 has increased and changed the nature of trade relationships. They have invested in emerging prominent companies ranging from infrastructure to technology. As of now, the Chinese investment in India amounts to $26 billion and they intend to invest another $15 billion in infrastructure. LIC goes online. It is the need of the hour to ensure people maintain social distance from one another. As a result, the Life Insurance Corporation of India has launched its online claims facility. The newly added facility will allow death claim registration, requests for maturity and survival dues, and existence certification submission and policy revival after it lapses. One can also submit the required documents online rather than physically visiting the LIC branch for submitting them. If you are planning to avail LIC's online services, then here are the points to remember. You must register as a user to utilize the online service portal for the purpose of registering. One must keep following things ready, that is the policy number, installment premiums under these policies, scanned image of passport and PAN card. Also remember that the scanned images should be preferably in JPJ or JPEJ format. SEBI introduces new norms for advisors, either advise or sell. The Securities and Exchange Board of India have introduced new standards for governing registered investment advisors on 3rd July via a notification. Let's take a quick look at the major highlights. SEBI introduced client level segregation and the providers are not allowed to give advice and distribution service to the same client. This means your investment advisor can either give you investment advice and charge a fee or distribute a mutual fund scheme and earn a commission on it. Both of them cannot be done at the same time. 
the net worth requirement of individuals RIAs have been increased from 1 lakh to 5 lakh and for corporates it is increased to 50 lakh from 25 lakh. RIAs and their employees must increase their experience and qualification. SEBI has stopped non-RIAs from tagging themselves as wealth advisors or independent financial advisors. Individual RIAs with more than 150 clients must move to corporate status. HDFC Bank slashes MCLR by 20 BPS across all tenors. The leading private sector giant HDFC cuts its marginal cost-based lending rate by 20 basis points across the loans on all tenors. MCLR for overnight loans have been reduced to 7.10 from 7.30. One month MCLR is reduced to 7.15 from 7.35. One year MCLR has been reduced from 7.45 to 7.65 and three year MCLR is now 7.65% which was earlier 7.85%. Good news for Franklin Mutual Fund investors expected to receive 6,000 crores by September 30th. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, Franklin Templeton AMC had faced illiquidity and redemption pressures. To deal with this, on April 23rd, they decided to temporarily freeze six of their schemes, namely Franklin India Low Duration Fund, Franklin India Dynamic Accrual Fund, Franklin India Credit Risk Fund, Franklin India Short Term Income Plan, Franklin India Ultra Short Bond Fund and Franklin India Income Opportunities Fund. These schemes have already received a cash flow of Rs 3,275 crore from April 24th to June 30th and these schemes are expected to raise an additional 3,200 crores by September 30th by doing secondary market sales. Cashless cover for COVID treatment turned down by private hospitals. In some parts of India, people have reported that cashless cover offered by insurers were not available at the time of admission in the hospital. Family members of COVID-affected patients faced an added distress at the time of the crisis. It was realized that although insurance companies have a network of hospitals in their list that will provide cashless facility, if the hospital declines the facility, then there is nothing more that could be done. At the same time, private hospitals have made their statements clear that most of the insurance companies have not revised their cashless rates over the past four years and some of them do not even make timely payments. Hence, insurance companies are required to set a standard pricing method and make agreements with private hospitals in order to completely help their customers. Revenue of IT firms likely to drop 8% in quarter one. The effect of the pandemic on the IT sector is likely to be reflected in the first quarter results. Analysts are expecting 4-8% decline in revenue. This will depend on the extent of exposure to the already troubled sectors like aviation, retail and hospitality. Let's have a look at today's fuel prices. Both petrol and diesel prices remain stagnant across the country. Today's fuel prices across major cities are Bangalore traded petrol at Rs 83.04 per litre, Delhi at 80.43 rupees per litre and Mumbai traded petrol at 87.19 rupees per litre. Talking about diesel, Bangalore traded diesel at 76.79 rupees per litre, Delhi at 80.78 rupees per litre and Mumbai at 79.05 rupees per litre. Gold prices increased. Gold continues to shine during this pandemic and have further witnessed a price hike today. 22 karat gold rates for today are in Bangalore, it's 45,710 rupees, Delhi is at 47,260 rupees, and Mumbai at 46,630 rupees. Our goal is to make our country financially literate and help people get rich. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such informative videos. We all are running the race of life. Yes, 780 crore people are running this race. But very few people have got 1 lakh crore, 5 lakh crore, 10 lakh crore of assets and the others are struggling for even 10,000 rupees. Why is this happening? Take a look at 100 meter running race. If 20 people are running the race, 
all 20 will reach the goal but then the one who reaches first will win the game why is this not happening in the race of life it is because those who are running in this 100 meter running race they know their target they know the path to get to their target but unfortunately in the race of life most of us don't have a goal and those who have a goal don't know the path to get to their goal and those who know the path to get to their goal they don't have the strength to run then who are these rich people where do they come from how did they become rich yes there are no shortcuts to become rich there are secrets to become rich do you want to learn the secrets to become rich now you can get all those secrets of rich people in one place together right in financial freedom app download financial freedom app and start your journey to become rich